Hi everyone, it's Leslie from Hungry Heavy Crafts and the other day I was watching Inside Out on DVD and there's a little short video at the start with a volcano that sings and he says, I love you. So I had this idea to use the Chibitronic LEDs and create my own fantastic card using um, or featuring a little volcano that is about to erupt with a red LED light. I'm starting off with a card blank here that I've folded in half, and this is going to be my actual card. And I'm going to put a panel on top of it, but first of all, I'm taking a pencil and making a mark where I want my LED to go. So about in the middle of the card, not too far down, and that's gonna be my LED. And I want to sketch out the circuit. I'll have um, my battery just in that circle there where I've put the letter B. And then I need to do a switch and you really need a special mechanism as it were for the switch. Uh, and I'll show you how I did that in just a second. Of course, then I'm drawing the other lines and that's going to be the copper tape that conducts and that completes the circuit. For the switch, I need to be able to fold over a flap. So I'm taking a piece of just normal copy paper, folding up the corner and then adding some tape on the, the flat bit, not the corner that I folded up. And I'm gonna pop it just right over where I'm going to put the battery. So what happens now is that I've got this flap that folds over and this will help me make sure that I get the, um, the circuit on both the bottom and the top of the battery. So here's the battery here. It's a little nine volt battery, a flat one. So it's quite snug in my card. And you can also get this copper adhesive tape. So let's stick this on here. I need to run a piece from the LED down to where I'm going to put my battery. And this tape is, is really quite thin, so you can tear it with your fingers. Um, it's really simple. So let's smoosh that down. And then I'm grabbing one of the red LEDs. They're super teeny weeny, but they give off quite a bright light and this is the set that has the blue yellow and red in it and I'm going to be using the red so I've just marked where the copper conducting piece will be and then I'll complete the rest of my circuit here using my nail to smooth down any corners this works best if you have one continual piece of copper all the way along rather than cutting and smooshing it down on top of one another. Okay, so my LED is going to go on here. And if you look really closely, one side has a plus and a negative, and that will make sure that you put the battery the right way around. I'm going to stick my battery down on top with a couple of glue dots, and this flap that folds over will act as my switch. To make sure that the switch stays off. I'm going to add this foam tape all the way around my battery, but I want to make sure that the the foam tape is slightly higher than the battery. And then when I fold over the flap, it will be um, not touching the battery, but then whenever you press down on it, it bends down in the middle and lights up the LED, just like this. It's actually really fun. So now my circuit is complete, I can continue with designing the rest of the card. I've taken a card blank here, folded it in half, and um, sometimes I snug them together like this, but to make it fit, um, I trim off about, I don't know, just a fraction, probably less than half a centimeter off the edge, and that's going to go in the inside, and it makes it snug a lot better. So let's take a pencil mark now and put a mark where my LED is, because that's where I want the top of my volcano to be. I had sketched a volcano doodle in my notebook and I was really happy with it. And instead of freehanding it again, I decided I would take my, uh, just a scrap piece of vellum and put it over the top and that would help me trace the little volcano. Then I cut it out and I was able to then just draw down the outside of the shape. It's a fairly basic shape so I didn't worry about the inside bits and pieces I just freehanded them afterwards but I made sure that I had a little 
hole at the top of my volcano and I'll be cutting that out with a craft knife in just a few seconds. Once I was happy with the sketch, I came back in with my Copic multi-liner pen. This is a 0.3 nib and it is really, it's quite fine, but then it's also bold enough and black enough that it almost gives the impression that the image has been stamped rather than hand drawn. So I really like this. And also it's Copic friendly because I'm going to be using my Copic markers today. Let's give him some cute eyes and a little mouth. I left that for a few seconds to make sure the ink was dry before taking an eraser over the top. I wanted to get rid of all of those little pencil lines. And when I use my eraser, instead of using my hand, I take a an old makeup brush that's clean, of course, uh, to rub away all those little bits from um, the rubber. So let's cut a hole in the top of my volcano here. And this will allow the light from the LED to shine through really brightly. There he is. Let's color him in with some Copic markers. It's just really simple Copic coloring that I'm doing today. I'm using R05 and a little R59 for the lava at the top. And then for the actual volcano, I'm using my cool gray Copic markers. I'm starting off with some C5 and I'm going all around the outside edge and also going along those lines that I've made there. And then I'll blend that out with some C3 and then come in with my C1 to blend it all together. So now that I've got my little volcano in place, I'm going to add some faux stitching on the left and the right hand side just to fancy it up a little bit. So this is the stitch borders die. Let's run that through my cuddle bug as well. And I now want to create a button exactly where that battery is. So I'm putting a piece of washi tape there while I cut out a die, a little heart die. And this is from the Lawn Fawn Hearts die set. Now I want to my sen sentiment. I knew I wanted this to say I lava you because it's such a cute little thing. And I'm using a stamp set here, an alphabet stamp set from Studio G. This, um, this isn't the best stamp set that I have, but it was a good size. So I stamped it first of all on some scratch cardstock. And this is also a good way to make sure that you get your sentiment centered. I've cut it out, folded it in half so I know exactly where the halfway mark is. And then using a piece of washi tape or post-it tape to, as a guide for your bottom line, you know exactly where to position each of your letter stamps. I start from the middle and then work my way out. So here's my little volcano and I'm going to put everything together now. So let's stick my um, switch down and we'll add some foam tape all the way around. And I made sure that there wasn't any foam adhesive anywhere near the the circuit. So in the end up I didn't snug the two cards together. I trimmed the front panel with a little volcano on it. I trimmed it down so it's just a flat piece of card on top of my, um, my circuit. To finish off the card I wrote the word press on the love heart and then added a little glimmer and shine using the Wink of Stella clear glitter brush marker. And I think this gives a really pretty finishing touch to the card. And that's it. It's actually quite straightforward once you get your brain around how to create a simple circuit. But I hope you enjoyed the card today and the video. So please do give me a thumbs up if you like it and hop on over to Hungry Heffy Crafts for more of my crafty projects. Have a great day. Thank you.